Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Arian and thank you so much for watching. Earlier today, I realized I ran out of Lysol wipes. So, I thought I would come on here and show you guys how I make my own disinfecting wipes at home. It's a super easy recipe. All you need to get started are a few things, so let's go ahead and get right into the video. Have you been having a hard time finding disinfecting wipes at your local store just like me? Well today I'm going to show you guys how I make my own disinfecting wipes at home. Alright, so let's go ahead and make some disinfecting wipes. Here are the things that you will need. Sturdy paper towels. I prefer the blue shop towels because they are more durable. By the way, all the products mentioned in this video will be listed in the description down below. A container to put them in. I'm using these empty containers that I've already used. Something to cut your paper towels in half. I use this small coping saw. But you can also use a sharp serrated blade such as this one. You'll need a bowl to mix everything in. I like to use a measuring cup, that way it's a little bit easier and I can just pour the solution directly on top of the paper towels when I'm finished. And then I also have this little whisk to mix everything up. Then you're going to need one cup isopropyl alcohol. The higher percentage, the better. I like to use 99%. Then you're going to need a tablespoon of Dawn dishwashing soap or any other dishwashing liquid of your choice. Scents are optional, but I prefer them if your dish soap isn't scented, of course. It all depends on your personal preference. Okay, so now I'm going to take a tablespoon of the Dawn dishwashing liquid and combine that with the isopropyl alcohol. Mix until thoroughly combined. I'll be doubling this recipe since I'm making two containers of wipes. And finally, I'm going to add a little bit of this lemon scent um, just so it kind of masks that alcohol smell. First, start by cutting your paper towel to the length of your container. I cut this using a small coping saw, but a sharp serrated knife will also do the trick. Okay, so I cut the paper towels to the length of the container. And then I'm going to save the smaller portion, and I'm going to use that for like travel wipes, since they're going to be a little bit smaller. And since this paper towel roll is too big to fit into my container, what I'm going to do is unwrap some of the outer layers and wrap them back up and put them in my second container. Now you should have something smaller, something like this. Unless you have a bigger container then you don't even need to do that step at all. You could just skip it. So from here, what we're going to do next is remove this inner cardboard portion. Take your container and your paper towels. And it should fit right in now. There we go. And then my second one. And then I also have the smaller wipes that I rolled up. 
And I'm just going to place these inside of a Ziploc bag. And these I just like to put in my car, in my purse, and that way I have like smaller wipes that I can take on the go. Okay, then once you have that mixture thoroughly combined, you're just going to pour that over top of the paper towels. And you want to make sure that it's thoroughly saturated. So try and get all of the sides. Now that it's thoroughly saturated, just close it back up. And then pull very gently from the center. And then you can just close it back up. And that's how you make disinfecting wipes at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these up. All right, you guys, and this is a finished result. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Let these sit for a couple minutes so that the liquid can soak all the way to the bottom and then they're ready to disinfect any of your surfaces. Here are the smaller ones that I made. These ones I just like to throw in my car or in the purse and take it with me on the go. It's a little bit more travel friendly and easier to take with me. Alright, well that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Bye!